Hi, girls and boys. As I watch you read, I have been thinking, wait a minute, I'm not the only teacher here. There are a whole bunch of teachers in this room. Who am I talking about? You friends, you have been doing such a great job working in your small groups and reading together, and I am so impressed. But today, I have something to teach you that will make your reading even better. Are you ready? Give me those binoculars because today I want to teach you that as you role play your characters in your books, another thing you can do to improvise is add dialogue to the page. So today we are going to use two special tools, a blank speech bubble and a blank thought bubble. You can use these to say more as you perform your books or read them to your friends. And to help us improvise, it's really important that we read our books carefully so that we understand the book and can think more about the characters and the story. It helps to think about what the characters might be feeling and why. So to help us today, I have a book called Red Squirrel Hides Some Nuts. As we read this book, I want you to ask yourselves, what could Squirrel be thinking or feeling? Story by Beverly Randall, illustrations by Isabel Lowe. Red Squirrel hides some nuts. Red Squirrel is coming down the tree. He is hungry. He is going to look for nuts to eat. So I want to add a speech bubble to the page. I want to think, how is he feeling right now? Well, he's feeling really hungry, right? So maybe he'll say something about how hungry he is. Like, oh, I am so hungry. I could really use some nuts right now. I better go look. And remember, your character doesn't have to be a person for you to pretend that they talk. Characters in lots of books talk that are animals. You friends can do that too. All right, so we just added a speech bubble to the page and we made Squirrel say some words. I'm so hungry, I really need to go find those nuts. When you guys are working in your reading groups, I want you to use the speech bubbles and the thought bubbles to add to our stories, just like I just did. It'll make them come to life. Let's keep reading. Red Squirrel sees some nuts. He eats a big nut. Red Squirrel is going to hide some nuts. He runs back to the tree with a nut. Red Squirrel hides the nut. Hmm, I wonder if we were going to put a, boom, a thought bubble onto this page. What do you think Red Squirrel is thinking right now? Like, why is he putting that nut there? Do you think he might be saving it for later? I think so. So maybe he could be thinking, this is a great spot to hide this nut, safe where no one can find it. Did you see how we really thought about how he was feeling and what he was doing? And then we added to the page with some dialogue in the form of a thought bubble. All right, we are going to keep on going. Look, snow is coming down. Red Squirrel runs up the tree. He is running home. Red Squirrel goes to sleep inside his home in the tree. Here comes the sun. Red Squirrel wakes up. He is hungry. He looks down at the snow. Hmm, if I was going to put a speech bubble here, what do you think he might be saying? How might he be feeling? He's probably wondering where his not went because of all the snow. So maybe he's thinking or saying, where can I get some nuts? I'm so hungry, I need to eat. Red Squirrel comes down. 
He cannot see a nut to eat. Where are the nuts? Where is Red Squirrel going? Where is he going, I wonder? Hmm. Red Squirrel finds a big nut. It is down here. Clever Red Squirrel. So at the very end of the book, what happened? Red Squirrel remembered that he had very fat nut under the tree. So how do you think he might be feeling or what do you think he might be thinking on this page? Because that's the question I want you to answer for me today. I want you to improvise and to put some dialogue onto this page in the form of a speech bubble or a thought bubble. All right, so ask yourselves, what could Squirrel be thinking or saying on this page? It will bring your page right to life and you'll get some practice for when you come back to school and try this in your small groups. Are you friends ready to rock? Bye.